more soft scrappy peeps it's Del from Inky Quill and welcome to one of my all-time favorite layouts of freaking all time it's so fun to make so it's a bit of mixed media today now I do have to apologize this video is up a little bit late technically it's still Friday where I am usually I put them up at 7 a.m. in the morning but it's now almost midnight so just scraping in today what I'm doing now is I've got this beautiful Dear Lizzie floral stencil. It's really, really delicate. And I kind of want to make my own background. So I put it down and I've just got a bread and butter sized uh, plate and I'm putting it on top just so that I can mark out a circle because I could have cut out a piece of cardboard and put it there as a template, but plates are washable. So I'm getting my modeling paste and a spatula and just spatuling all of the modeling paste everywhere and I'm being really careful because this stencil is so delicate um, the little leaves and things move really really easily found that out the hard way a couple of them are a bit smooshed but it's okay you can't tell so this layout just I didn't know where it bounced it was really going it was an experiment and it worked and gosh I love the result love it so all you have to do is you can do this same type of thing with any stencil you can also do this with any type of um, covering up -y thing so you could use like a little rectangular piece of packaging you could use a I don't know you could use triangle if you can find one any shape but the circle was just really really easy for me so then what I did is I dried it off camera and I washed my stencil immediately you gotta wash it immediately and I did decide to cut out this circle from cardboard for this part because after I'd done the modeling paste I wasn't really sure what I was going to do next I really didn't know what I was doing on this page I was just playing but I decided to do some spraying so I got my water sprayed my water on like I do and then I'm putting the mist over the top. Now that water really just helps disperse the color instead of getting that super misty looking look, which is, which is fine too. I just didn't want it for this one. Now, the fun part is here with the heat gun, you can actually be a bit wizardy and control your um, ink where you want it to go. So you can kind of smush it certain ways and see how I'm doing in that bottom corner, kind of force it to go different ways. I'm in a bit of a wizard mood because the reason why this is late is um, our friend Ben just came over and we watched, if you're a, a long time Inky Quiller, or at least this year, he's been in it a bit this year. Um, Ben's our best friend and he has been watching, he's been reading Harry Potter for the first time. So we watched uh, movie three and four tonight and that's why it's late because we were Harry Pottering. But like someone said on Scrapaholics Anonymous, there's always time for Harry Potter. It's okay. So these two photos are of my friend Cara and I at her hen's party and I did the two of them and one of them it's really nice and then the second one we decided to do a silly one and she's squishing me so freaking tightly and you can tell in that photo. So I've been liking the multiple um, photo layouts. Yes, that's what it's called, multiple photo layouts lately. And I'm liking having smaller multiple photos, if that makes sense. I just find it's easier to make them work in the composition, especially with a smaller page size. So this is a nine by 12 album. And so I'm popping that on some craft foam just to give it a bit of 3D-ness because the background's so uh, textury and thick that I felt the photos needed a bit of oomphing, a bit of extra height. It's like your photo needed to wear high heels because all of the friends around it were tall anyway. That's how I am in my group. I am by far the shortest person in my friendship group. And if we go out and I don't wear high heels, then I look ridiculous next to some of them. <laughs> Is anyone else like that? Is anyone a bit of a shorty? I'm a, I'm a shorty. I hit my growth spurt in primary school. Um, in year six, I was like one of the tallest. And then over the summer holidays, everyone grew and I started year seven at high school and I was one of the shortest ones. And I've been, year six is the only year that I haven't been in the front row for photos. To this day, I am still in the front row for our staff photos at school, always in the front row. Some things never change. Adding some little embellishments here after I go off tangent for a little while about photo taking and adding them from the Bloom collection. 
which I love. And I do know that someone commented in a previous video about the digital um, copy of the Bloom Collection. I am going to look into getting that because I really like florals and no, no one can do florals like Maggie. Maggie Holmes, my BFF, I wish. Uh, adding some little bits from the puffy sticker sheet, which is one of the only things that I managed to get my hands on after the Blitzy Bloom scandal. If you're on Scrapaholics Anonymous, you'll know what I'm talking about. We did miss out on a lot of ephemera and chipboard from Blitzy, which was unfortunate and sad. I'm liking this butterfly on this layout. You know, I'm not a butterfly person usually, but... I don't know there was something about it which it just brought I needed something kind of white as an embellishment down in that cluster tomorrow I am teaching my scrapbooking class and I'm so excited I have three classes so I'll be there from about 10 a.m the first class starts and the last class I think ends at 10 30 p.m so I won't be home until after midnight probably tomorrow so tomorrow's video may or may not get up tomorrow on Saturday but it's recorded it just needs editing um, but it may be a double video Sunday instead of Saturday and Sunday so apologies for that bit busy at the moment adding some little flowers and people always ask me where I get these little flowers from I just get them from eBay I type in um, like plastic flower resin flower and they usually pop up you've just got to check the quantity and the size that's the tricky part. It does take a little while just to sift through them. And usually I can never find the same ones that I bought before. So I just trial and error. And they're only about a dollar, two dollars at most. Well, I pay anyway. Um, sometimes they rip you off severely. So you've just got to be careful on how many you get before you actually purchase it. Because some I paid, I think I paid one dollar once and I only got like two in a tiny little bag and it was crazy and then other times I've paid a dollar and gotten 20 so yeah just check before you buy here I'm adding a few little pencil lines because I just felt like it needed a little something to um, kind of I don't know kind of connect up oh, shake my heart shine shake 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 your high shine shake your heart shine um, I'm just I just felt like it needed a bit of pencil to well, it was a bit bare around the edges just need a little something something so if you don't already know I have a Facebook group called Scrapaholics Anonymous and we share lots of pretty things so if you want to head over there there's daily inspiration from lots of lovely ladies and a couple of gents who are in the group um, and we just have a fun time there's no I really am so appreciative of all of my inklets because I'm really lucky I've never had any like nasty things or nastiness in the group or um, it's been really really good so thank you thank you thank you to every one of you you brighten my day and it's just I was telling my kids today about kindness and it's like a ripple effect so if you're kind to someone then it just ripples on to the next person and I really do believe that that's that's what goes on in our group so thank you to everyone over there so it's all done and I love it I wish you could the camera's not picking up how vibrant the blues are like you can really tell the variation in the colors of blue um especially on that left hand side just where it says so sweet and sunny day that turquoise is so bright and beautiful but thanks for watching everyone and i will be back probably tomorrow if not it may be a tiny bit late and i'll have two on sunday i promise if you don't already know head over to my other channel let's get inky where i've been posting part five of my journaling by fives art journaling and the part five b will be up this week so thanks for watching everyone and what am i doing i'm touching things Mm, touching all the pretty things. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I'm still flapping things. Okay, come on, Adele. Move your things around and heart. Give me a like if you liked it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>